or can you even address any of the rumors around the this potentially being a rigged fight? No, the, the health is not going to be a problem. Like I said, I've been training. I've been doing my stuff. Just know I'm going to get be paid a lot of money for this fight, Zeus. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Send over some of your weed too, Mike. I'd, I'd love to try that. Yeah, it'll knock you on the ass. <laughs> welcome back beautiful people uh if you're new to the podcast welcome you too can be beautiful people all you have to do is hit the subscribe come back next week leave a comment hit the like button you guys know how this stuff goes we're fighting mr algorithm but we don't like to beg over here even though we bring into you a lot of really good content um yeah we're gonna get into it we're getting into it yo last week we recapped UFC 302 and for the first time ever we had a call in from a fighter an active UFC top star called our little podcast yo that's what's up we're building like a motherfucker salute Sean Strickland thank you for calling in um there's no UFC for us to talk about like fight night and stuff but we don't really cover that we probably will next week uh but there's obviously another big fight happening in the fight world right now the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul whether you like it or hate it, you definitely know about it. Uh, unfortunately, Mike Tyson was recently on a plane where he had a health scare. Um, now, I have my suspicions that he was on mushrooms. <laughs> but apparently it was actually something to do with his heart or something. He got pulled off the plane by medical staff and they have postponed the fight. Now, um, Dante just had to step up for a bit, so I will be fielding this shit. But just make sure that everybody's looking. I'm going to be looking straight into the camera, not moving too much. These are instructions for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to line up another call into the show this week. I couldn't be more thrilled. This man is an absolute legend, not just in the fight game, but in life in general. If you grew up any time, from the fucking 80s, 90s, all the way up till right now, you definitely know this, this gentleman that we're about to bring in. Let me make sure I got it all lined up here. Got to set it up. Got to set it up. But fresh off his delayed fight announcement to break down how he's feeling and why the fight got delayed, when can we potentially expect to see it again? The legend, the OG, Iron Mike. Tyson! Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Tyson is calling into the podcast. Mr. Tyson, are you on the phone? Hey, Zeus, how's it going, man? Hey, yo, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, it, means, it means the world that you would actually take some time out and come talk to us. Uh, how are you living, first of all? I'm living good, man. You know, I was I had a health scare recently, so I, you asked me to come on your show, so I'm just here to talk about it. All right, well, I mean, we might as well just get into it right now. Are you feeling all right, Mike? Yeah, you know, it wasn't anything big. It was just five grams of mushrooms, really. Like it wasn't, it wasn't really a health scare. Just, I, I was taking an eight-hour flight, and I figured let me just do five grams. But it turned out to be eight grams. So, oh I, I, shit, yeah. Mike, you're an astronaut, eh? Yeah, you gotta figure out you're in the space. You know, if you want to be a real warrior like that. So I, I took eight grams, but. It took a bit of a dark turn, really. So have you have you stated this publicly at all? Is this an exclusive? Do we get to know this, for real now that it's mushrooms that got you kicked out that flight? It's an exclusive just for the Black Youth Podcast. How how would you say mushrooms have changed your life, Mike? Like obviously right now it feels like it's kind of a negative experience, no? No, I learned a lot from this trip, man. Uh Honestly, with mushrooms, they just really help you find who you are and find your <laughs> spirit. So I think they've actually helped me a lot. Open up your third eye, everybody. <laughs> Mike Tyson said so. Exactly, exactly. Um, all right. Well, first of all, how have you been like how's the training been going to face someone like Jake Paul? You've recently had an exhibition bout, but now with uh, a guy who's way younger than you, who people are arguing is in his prime. I mean, I'm not the biggest Jake Paul fan, Mike. I'm obviously a bigger fan of you, but are you worried at all? Is your health actually a concern for this fight or what's going what's going on with your training there? No, the is not a concern really but when you go into any fight you know you gotta train really hard especially a guy like jake paul you know like he's got some knockouts on his record and uh so i'm taking it serious i've been training i've been doing my practice and my punches with rafael cordero and it's it's been going good zeus it's been going really good well i'm happy to hear that mike well um all right how about how about this people are speculating online 
that this fight, and I don't know if you would even want to speak about this, and I apologize if it offends you or anything, but people are speculating that this fight is rigged and that you're potentially taking a dive for some guaranteed money. Now, obviously, the rules have come out recently that this is going to be an actual sanctioned boxing match. Uh, people feel mixed about that. Are, are you at all concerned for your health going up against a guy that's so much younger, especially having this this recent scare? Or, 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 or can you even address any of the rumors around the this potentially being a rigged fight? No, the, the health is not going to be a problem. Like I said, I've been training. I've been doing my stuff. Just know I'm going to get be paid a lot of money for this fight, Zeus. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> cool. I would imagine you are, Mike. Um, but I imagine you don't need that much money anyways these days. Send over some of your weed too, Mike. I'd, I'd love to try that. Yeah, it'll knock you on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it. Um, well, obviously we don't have too much time with you, Mike, but is there anything you would want to say before you leave? No, just I want to just tell everyone out there, keep listening to the podcast, keep supporting Black Zeus and Dante. They have gotten amazing shows. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for the fight. Salutes. Much love and respect. Thank you so much, OG. And I, I wish you the best of luck in the Thank fight. You. Hopefully Thank it's you. not a dive. It's not a dive, but I am getting paid. <laughs> All right. Mike Tyson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for calling in. I'll just fucking end the call here. All right. Bam. Wow. Uh, fire. Yo, Dante, bro, how you living? I'm good, man. You just missed, how was the call? You just missed an amazing call, bro. What a time to go to a bathroom. What the, what the <laughs> fuck? No, I, I always wanted to speak to Mike Tyson. The champ, <laughs> the heavyweight champ. Yo, we've been doing all right, though. You got to talk to Sean Strickland last week. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I got to talk to Mike Tyson. Oh, God knows what the future of this podcast <laughs> holds, bro. We could talk to literally fucking anybody, I feel like, in the future, because we're just we're just right at the cusp of blowing the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. We're getting, we're getting all types of DMs and messages and shit. Uh, but yeah, this might be a good place to wrap up the episode. Yeah. Um, you have any favorite Mike Tyson moments or anything like this? Any favorite Mike Tyson? Because you're a little bit younger, mm -hmm. so like, I, I I I I didn't watch his fights and shit. Like I wasn't obviously yeah. tapped in like that back in the day. But I definitely was paying attention to Mike Tyson growing up. Uh, I'll fuck you in your asshole, make you like it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All praise be to Allah. <laughs> what? Yo, there's this one interview he did. I forget. The scariest fucking interview. Me and my homie Alberto used to talk about this at work all the time. He was doing an interview with this guy, famous guy. I forget his name, white sportscaster guy. And he's just asking him questions about an upcoming fight. He's like, sorry. So, Mike, are you telling me that? Da -da 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 -da? It's like, and then Mike just leans in. It's like, you're going to have to leave. It's not safe for you right now. <laughs> Bro, it's one of these scariest. Mo I couldn't yeah. imagine being in the shoes of that reporter. Yeah, he's like, "Get the fuck out of here," because I I don't know what I'm about to do. Yeah, this is scary. What is salutes to mushrooms and DMT? You know what I mean? Because it took Mike Tyson from being Rrr! to being Rrr! you know. No, I think that I still is still you there. see him train. Yeah, holy fuck, it's crazy. It's, like it, it, he's got it locked away, but once he starts training again, like it. It just comes back. And he's so. a vegetarian, too. Is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. He's pure vegetarian. Mm. Which is <laughs> fucking gorilla strength, isn't yeah. he? No, but um, I wouldn't say I have a favorite Mike Tyson moment. Because, like, when I was growing up, I wasn't really, like, my parents were watching boxing. But he wasn't at the top when I was younger. And then he was kind of in, in jail for a while. Interesting, yeah. So... Like, I just remember seeing the highlights and stuff like that. But, like, even, like, just the new stuff, like, with his podcast and whatnot, I do enjoy listening to his podcast because... I absolutely love the the character turn that he made yeah, in, in it, the public's eye. Mm -hmm. Like, people don't even see him as that guy, that guy anymore. He's, like, yeah. a guru now, yeah. which is amazing. But he's he, kind of like a guru. I, I think I heard a story. He did DMT, like, as a kid. Really? It was either DMT or like one of those fucking he no did idea. some sort of psychedelic mm. as as like a 12 year old or some shit like this. That's crazy. It's absolutely insane. bro, his entire yeah, well, story. Well, is he was, he used to also get hypnotized. Like his his coach would like hypnotize him and be like, You are a destroyer, like you are the next embodiment of this like destroyer god. That like all this stuff. That's why they, he did that in-ring interview. I'm cut from their cloth. You know, you know, oh fuck. Uh 
the fuck, something the conqueror, something like David the Goliath, David and Goliath. I'm cut from their cloth. Oh, the Alexander the Great. Alexander right? the Great. That's yeah. it. <laughs> David and Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's a good thing I didn't act like that during the interview. Oh, Holy no, shit. You would have knocked you up. To the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Punch me through the phone. <laughs> That's Mike Tyson's version of the Chris Brown song. Um, no, Soldier Boy, actually. What? Soldier Boy? Kiss me through the phone? That was. It was Kiss Kiss. That was Chris yeah. Brown. She want that lovey dovey and kiss kiss. With in the mind, she fantasized by getting with me. Yeah. They hating on me. They know that this, this, kiss, kiss. <laughs> this is Black Zeus, the podcast season five. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting. Once again, the Patreon is launched. If you do want to watch my comedy special right now, you can do so. It's only 10 bucks and you can get it as part of the subscription fee. So like if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can get it that way or you can just buy it outright for 10 bucks that way. Once again, for transparency, I will release the comedy special for free on the YouTube once we hit a thousand subscribers. So you can also just hit the subscriber uh, button and just do that. You can support that way, whichever way you want to support. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that. I don't necessarily use it the way everybody else does, but I'm there if you want to find me. AKA Black Zeus is the person to find on those platforms.